How's it going everybody? Welcome to the channel. This is Big Daddy Dave and this is a map tour for a new mod map to Farm Simulator 22 called Umari Farm RN. And of course we're going to start with the description and it reads Map based on the Rio Grande do Norte Dairy Farming Region, BGA, Sugarcane Mill, On-Site Gas Station and Vehicle Repair Shop, Animal Trader, Three Point of Sale for Grains, Limestone Mine, Water you can, uh, you can get from the main lake or from the well near the carpentry shop. Various production points. Contains of original crops from the game. If you start as new farmer, you will have a farm with some machinery and implements. 35 fields with quests, forest areas, and fields to be opened. Varied landscaping with trees, foliage, shrubs, and more. Uh, you can enjoy the new FS22 dynamic by looking for your collectibles. This map was created by Nasfer Gamer and is 126.68 megabytes to download. There are no required mods for this map. And let's go ahead and check it out. So this is the map. We start up here, kind of uh, north-ish right here in downtown of the city um, what do we own we own farmlands number two and 48 which encompasses the main farmyard as well as field number 35 this is kind of a I would say a medium to large size fields you know equipment kind of thing uh, you're gonna be able to get around relatively easily with even the larger sets of equipment for the most part unless you're going through the heart of downtown this kind of main strip right here uh, where it can get a little bit narrow and especially the amount of traffic that's there it might be a little bit difficult at times but not uh, you know too crazy or out of control field prices um, I'm not gonna lie, are pretty darned expensive. Uh, farmland number five, five hundred eighty-eight thousand uh, dollars. Six six sixteen, uh, three forty. Even the smallest plot of land, which uh, let's say twenty-nine, hundred seventy-five thousand dollars. Over here, we got two hundred sixty-seven thousand. Here, two hundred ten thousand. There's just it's ridiculous. Oh, hey. I found one that's free. <laughs> Farmland number 37. So hey, a little top tip that is most likely going to get fixed. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, so you can expand right away if you need to. But yeah, you can see it's quite expensive. It's, it's almost a little breathtaking with how expensive one. The larger field here, almost $962,000. Almost a million dollars for one chunk of land. Oh, whoa. Okay, I... Take that one back. Two point eight million dollars. We have a winner. Anyways, are you able to purchase a periphery? Yes, you are able to purchase a periphery, with the exception of this small area right here, where the biogas plant is. So you can see the biogas is about right here, middle of uh, my screen where the reticle is. But there's this chunk right here where the biogas plant itself, where the inputs are, that you cannot buy and adjust. So. Not sure why that is, but literally everywhere else you can purchase. Uh, even the riverside, uh, which gets encompassed by uh, those particular farmlands. <clears throat> Let's see. You do not start with any animal pens. There are contracts on this map. No production chains to start out with. And if you look down at the bottom right hand corner, there are collectibles. There are 20 collectibles on this map. Uh, I have not come across any as of yet, so I'm not exactly sure what specific kinds are out there. Uh, typically, if it's 100, it's the uh, uh, little wooden collectibles, the wooden toys from uh, Elm Creek. 20, I think, is kind of modeled after the whole Belo Roll. Uh, map from Giants, so you might see game cartridges out there. That's going to be my guess. It's just a guess. So, what we are going to do, you start out here in the middle of the town, right next to the church. We are going to go right next door 
over to the dealership and we are going to purchase us a dealer this is the uh, shop trigger right here and we are going to use it to purchase a vehicle we're going to purchase a truck so you can see that works just fine and over here is a repair trigger put your vehicles in here you can repair trade uh, sorry repair repaint and uh, sell And I did not adjust that, did I? Sorry, give me one second. I should have adjusted this earlier. And do, 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 do. There. So now, uh, this way, yes. All right, so first things first, we come out of the main shop area, and we head long, and we're going to try and sweep through the town first. Expand that just a bit. And right here is the entrance to the biogas plant over here you can purchase the biogas plant for 1.5 million dollars not cheap not cheap at all you can input products into the bunks here this is for your solid uh, solid products Let's see around the back side you do have a uh, bunker silo right there this is for your inputs for liquids like your slurry I'm sorry, that was your outputs for your digestate. This is your input for slurry. Yes. Okay. Sorry about that. So yeah. Input for slurry, the one in the back side is the output for digestate. Moving on to the next point of interest, we have cell point right here. This is the Umari sugarcane plant. keep looking over my notes I'm gonna have to figure out a new arrangement anyways over here is the carpentry you can purchase this for sixty thousand dollars over here is the grain mill which can be purchased for ninety six thousand dollars inputs here Outputs there, and it just occurred to me I did not show the inputs and outputs here at the carpentry. Inputs right here on the side with the wood trigger sale, a uh, wood sale trigger right there, and outputs right here. right here is the dairy purchase that for seventy thousand dollars around the back side of here is the inputs and there's the outputs Right here is right where we started, right there the church right ahead of us. We're going to come down this road ever so briefly. And then back here and right here is the Umari Grain cell point. Right up this ramp. Now we go across the street, and preferably not hitting the people. Here is the restaurant cell point, and right next to it 
is the gas station. <clears throat> Moving on to the next point of interest, down this road over here. And this right here is the cereal factory, which can be purchased for $110,000. Inputs and outputs. And directly beside that is a spinnery. Purchase that for $60,000. And your inputs and outputs are right back here in the back. Okay. And again, right beside it is the great processing unit. This can be purchased for $80,000. Inputs. And... Okay, walk past it. Oh, there it is. Outputs right there. And then back here... This is the Mercedo Supermarket cell point. You've got your grain and your solid cell, cell points, like your bales and stuff like that. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, production products, things like that. Over here is the sugar mill. There's your out, uh, inputs right there. Your outputs right there. And then your buy trigger right here for $80,000. Now we come out of here, do a little bit of backtrack, and then right here. We're going to pull over and we're going to take a look at the map and show where we've been and what we've done. So, we originally started right about... Ah, here we go. We started right here. Came all the way down, around, back here to the back entrance to the biogas plant. We then saw the Umari Sugar Cane plant. Came out. We saw the carpentry first. Then we came back out, checked out the grain mill, the dairy came out, came past the shop here, came down this entrance here in the Umari Grains, came out, went across the street, saw the restaurant and the gas station, came down this side street, went up here, and then the back side here we checked out the cereal factory, the spinnery, as well as the great processing unit, came down the side entrance and we saw the Mercedo supermarket, and then came down the sugar mill, came back out main, backtrack a bit, and then we came to here, where leads us to the tailor shop. For $100,000, this can be yours. Inputs right here, and outputs that I pass it is back here. And then you have a wardrobe trigger. You change your clothes and whatnot. Right next door is the fast food restaurant cell point little bit of backtracking right over here is the pizzeria cell point right there oh uh sorry um Adjusting my notes and driving at the same time. Alright, right here is the bakery. You purchase that for fifty thousand dollars. 
and you've got your outputs right here and your inputs around the side and then across the street here is the grocery mart sell point that's all the way back here in the back if we come out on this side and right here is the silo rn sell point turn around and come back out here so right next door is the oil mill got your inputs and outputs right here your purchase trigger right here and purchase this for eighty thousand dollars and that whoo that is everything so before we go to our next location which is a little bit of a distance a little bit of a drive where were we we were here at the tailor shop came over to see the fast food restaurant went across the street and saw the pizzeria came back out took in the bakery came back out across the street to the grocery mart Came out the back side, around the front, and we saw the silo RN, came back out, and now we're here at the oil mill. Now we've got a little bit of a drive, so buckle up, enjoy the views, because it's actually really nice, uh, really nice kind of scenery. So oh, I went down the wrong road. This is what we wanted. nice undulations both on the roadway in the uh, in the fields like it's, it, this is not a flat map if you're looking for something flat and you know kind of basic is the wrong word but just oh just flat we'll just leave it at that um, this is not the map for you as you can plainly see there's a lot of articulation in in the uh, not articulation a lot of undulation on the terrain you're going to in some areas you're really going to need some heavy horsepower to be able to pull some of the equipment up these hills it's going to be kind of a nightmare uh, for some of these fields so equip appropriately now Coming in back here, down this kind of dug-in chasm, you come into this little spiral here, it opens up, and you see here you've got a lime by point, lime station, and directly in front of us is the uh, stone debris crusher. You can harvest all these stones right here if you purchase the land. And then on the back side, Looks like there's a ton of lime for you to harvest. So, you purchase this area, it's going to be, uh, you know, a lot of lot of material for you. So, how do we get here? We came out from the oil mill, came out up this side road, over here, all the way out here to this big old kind of curly queue to here. Now, the reason I'm bringing this up here is we can see to purchase this area is one point. Uh, it's a little over one million dollars. That will get you the stone. Uh, actually, will that get you the stone? Uh, or is it the... I just want to see compared to my truck and where it's parked. Okay, so this will get you the lime. So the one million dollars will get you the lime. The stone is here and that'll set you back to under fifty thousand dollars so you can either buy the stone and or the stone section of the quarry and it, you can have a mod that makes it into lime a production point whatever the case may be now again a little bit more driving to our next points of interest whoa 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 yeehaw cowboy
Oh man, I gotta stop looking at my notes while I'm driving. Okay. Now I come back over here. Go between fields 27 and 28. Like I said, you can see these fields are not tiny. That You're going to need some big equipment to handle them, to get them done efficiently, and you know it not take forever in a day. You're going to need some horsepower to get it done because of the hills and the terrain. Like there, There's going to be quite a bit of, uh, of strategy that's involved with this particular map, just because of the combination of size and... Uh, hills. So now we're back here in town on the main road. And pull out here and we're gonna whiz by the church. Come down this kind of side road. Again, like you can see right here, that's those are pretty big hills, and using like a harvester or something like that, that's going to take some major horsepower to overcome some of those hills. You're going to have to make yourself some good headlands because there's a lot of trees that are like not right on top of the fields, but they're, they're relatively close. You know, it's going to be enough to mess with any AI workers that you try and set up on it, so you're going to have to create them some space. Now, next we have, right through here, is the sawmill. Output for wood chips here, your trigger, buy point, $100,000. Your input for your wood is right here, and your cell for your wood is right here. And your output for your product is right here. Now next we're going to come out. Down this road. And up here. And here is the animal dealer. You can bring your trailers up here, load into your trailers when you get yourself some animals, but you have to have pastures put down first in order to load into anything. So once you uh, start bringing some animals onto the map, you will be able to use this. And then over here is the animal dealer cell points. Moving on from here. here to our last set of points of interest now this is probably the coolest feature I've seen on certainly on this map but this, this is probably one of the coolest I've seen almost ever come out here to this kind of opening and this cool little rock bridge. Like, that, I like that. That's cool. You got this giant river that's leading here, and you can see when the river is high, it just feeds this lake. Like, that's, that's really cool. But this is your starting farm. And oh, Nelly. You got this huge area to back in to load your tankers and stuff up for water. So you got tons of free water. But look at all this space. You can expand. You can put all your animals in this area. Even some of the bigger pens and pastures can fit in here no problem. I mean, you've got some expanding to do. 
right here is your starting silo over here is some of your starting equipment now speaking of starting equipment what do we start out with if we come here under own items we start with the small tractors we have the Steyr 8150 under medium tractors the Velmet Veltra 8750 as well as the Massey Ferguson 3670 under harvesters we have the Deutz Far top liner 4090H we do not start out with the car I bought this in under trailers we have the Rudolph TDK 301 RP the header for the Deutz Far under cultivators we have the Lemkin Carrot 12-500 KUA as well as the uh, Rabi EG 3-9 under Cedars, we have the Nordstein HK25 plus NS3030. We have the header trailer for the Deutzfahr and a couple of weights. We have the 10 Winkle Pack 750. We have two of them. Uh, your starting slot count for consoles is 1,069 out of 4,400 for new gen. I, again, don't quote me for this, but I think it's 2,200 for previous gen. Um, so current gen is the PS5 as well as the Xbox Series S and X. And you can see here, got your harvester there and all your equipment kind of jammed up into here. But again, look at how much room you have to expand. Got your field there in the back. Again, a lot of hills and undulation. That top liner is going to struggle in some areas, I think. You got your sleep trigger right here and another wardrobe trigger. Now, check out the map. We were up here. We went around the curly queue, came out, out here, down this uh, side road, back here, down here to the main stretch, then over here, came all the way out here, came up and around to the entrance to the sawmill came back out, turned to the right, came up this hill, and we saw the animal dealer and the animal dealer cell point. Came back down the hill, around, and then came through here, saw that cool water feature with the stone bridge, and then here, our starting farm. And that is the map. Now, with every map tour, there is a opinion time for me and I'm going to turn that engine off now standard scale 0 out of 5 what would I give this I would give this a solid three and a half to four somewhere in that ballpark this I'm pretty sure has the whole Belleron um, starting equipment fine all the standard uh, production points fine um, not a huge fan of just kind of taking stocks stuff from other maps and porting it into your like another one that kind of takes something away from me but um, I don't know just something about this map it has a really nice color palette I love the red dirt oh that reminds me uh, we didn't look at custom mods that were map specific. There are no custom mods under this screen, um, but there are custom paint palettes. Nothing else uh, under buildings, productions, animals, and decorations, but there are, uh, you know, paint options that are more than standard. And I thought, no, I guess not. So yeah, just paint palettes. That's the only custom thing that's you know unique to this map so again three and a half out of four or three and a half four somewhere in that ballpark and here's why color palette very nice I really like the kind of reddish hue to the dirt that really kind of sets it apart from other maps um, just the way that the map is kind of laid out um, you're gonna have to do some thinking you're not just gonna be able to buy just random piece of equipment because they're not gonna ha some of them might not have the horsepower to work 
on the, some of these hills. I mean, you look at your your uh, starting farm and your starting fields. There's some pretty big hills here for you to overcome. And you got a harvester that's an underpowered. You're like, you're not going to make it up some of these. And look how much this part leans right here. I mean, you're not going to be able to come at it from this direction. Um, you're going to have to do your headlands. You know, you're not going to be afraid of doing a little bit of manual labor. But the fields are huge. Look how big these fields are. And then you throw in the fact that you have so much room to expand and make this kind of your own farm. Um... You look at the contracts as well, you know, to spray field four. What is field four? That's all the way down. That's right next to us here. It's over there. It's a pretty large field, but you're only getting 10 grand to spray it with some herbicide. Um, that to me seems a little small for the amount of work that you're going to do, but a spraying, I mean, really, really spraying is not that big a deal. Um, so I don't know. Just. There's parts of me like that I feel like I don't necessarily want to give it as high of grade that it gets, but there's just something about the look and aesthetic of it that kind of, kind of I find of alluring. It's, it's got a kind of a charm to it. Like I like these sheer cliff faces and uh, big drop offs. Like there, there's some dangers to this map if you're not paying attention like i like when i was rushing around i looked over at my my notes and stuff if i wasn't paying attention to the wrong spots i'm going for a bath that i don't want to take and there's no way i'm getting out of it. i'm gonna have to use the reset button there's there's stuff to look at and there's a lot of stuff that's really kind of unique um to this map like you look over here oh hey there's a fjord I didn't even notice that this was here. So that's kind of cool. I mean, it's, again, it's just... There's these little features that yeah, I just haven't seen in a lot of other maps. Um, and you can look at that. Like, this is just developed enough. This this area is just developed enough to where they've got, you know, electrical lights leading up to the river to let you know, hey, there's something to pay attention to over here. And then you go away from it and no more electric. Oh no, there is. There's more poles hidden away. I don't know, just something about this is charming to me. I can't put my finger on it. So, three and a half, four stars. Three and a half, four rating, whatever. Stars, thumbs up, whatever. It's, yeah, I think it's cool. But... That being said, I hope you enjoyed this map tour. If you did, please show me by liking, sharing, subscribing, following, commenting, doing all the things the algorithms enjoy you doing that shows you're engaged with the channel and enjoying the content. And that being said, hope you have a fantastic day. Take care. Two, test, 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 check one, two, peaking mic, checking mic, peaking mic, checking mic, check, 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 check. All right, I wanted to throw this one in there just because I just ran across it and just so happened to notice it. This is the first map where, as a default, I've actually seen a field with sugarcane. This is the first one I've come across that's had this. So th this, I think, pushed it into the fours. I think this pushed it into solid four territory. I've yet to see a map where sugarcane is a thing by default. I, as a standard kind of crop part of the rotation kind of deal so that that's huge and I'm over here on field 21 I know that crops and stuff when you load into them are unique to the time at load kind of thing but I don't know that just just kind of set something apart for me because again I, I've not seen another map that sure came by default so this kind of gives you the opportunity and it's already ready to uh is it ready to harvest yeah remove foliage so yeah this is ready to harvest it's ready to go so this gives you the opportunity to use some equipment that some people might not ever have used before you know to actually go into the shops and, and check out what this category here is you know sugarcane 
and, you, and potentially can use some of this equipment and can replant. You know, oh man, just that just occurred to me. If there's contracts on this map, you might be able to harvest this as a contract. You might be able to uh, replant using some of the planting equipment with the contracts. I don't think I've ever gotten a sugarcane planting harvesting contract. That'd be something cool to figure out and find out if that is a thing. But that's it. That's I just wanted to tack this little bit on to the end because I just so happened to walk through and stumble across it and saw some product that I didn't recognize. And that would be why. Anyways, have a fantastic day. Take care. All right, I wanted to throw this one in there just because I just ran across it and just so happened to notice it. This is the first map where, as a default, I've actually seen a field with sugarcane. This is the first one I've come across that's had this. So th this, I think, pushed it into the fours. I think this pushed it into solid four territory. I've yet to see a map where sugarcane is a thing by default. I, as a standard kind of crop, part of the rotation kind of deal. So that that's huge. And I'm over here on field 21. I know that crops and stuff when you load into them are unique to the time at load kind of thing. But I don't know. That just just kind of set something apart for me. Because again, I I've not seen another map that has sugar cane by default. So this kind of gives you the opportunity, and it's already ready to, uh, is it ready to harvest? Yeah, remove foliage. So yeah, this is ready to harvest. It's ready to go. So this gives you the opportunity to use some equipment that some people might not ever have used before. You know, to actually go into the shops and, and check out what this category here is. You know, sugar cane. And you, and potentially can use some of this equipment and can replant you know oh man it just that just occurred to me if there's contracts on this map you might be able to harvest this as a contract you might be able to uh replant using some of the planting equipment with the contracts i don't think i've ever gotten a sugarcane planting harvesting contract that'd be something cool to figure out and find out if that is a thing but that's it. That's I just wanted to tack this little bit on to the end because I just so happened to walk through and stumble across it and saw some product that I didn't recognize. And that would be why. Anyways, have a fantastic day. Take care.